Hello and welcome to another episode of Tonewise Productions. Uh, before we get into it, please like and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, today's pedal is the King Tone Fuzz. All right, we're going to start off with my clean tone. This is my PRS Custom Special uh, Semi Hollow, going through my Two Rock Custom Reverb into the Ox Box and out. And the clean tone sounds a little something like this. <laughs> Now we're going to dive right in with a uh, germanium side uh, fuzz, kind of your classic fuzz tone. the way this side cleans up uh sounds really fantastic it's like a boosted uh more trebly beautiful high end that a lot of really good fuzzes do this one does it exceptionally well take a look at that real quick <laughs> Now we'll switch over to the silicone side and we'll see how that sounds. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the silicone side in very much the same fashion. Uh, we'll do the high gain first, the, you know, all the fuzz, and then we'll roll it back, see how it cleans up. Just kidding, there's my clean tone. It's a bit more aggressive, a uh, little woolier sounding as well, um, but a really pleasant tone nonetheless. Let's look how it cleans up. I like how that side cleans up as well. Not quite as pretty as the germanium, which most silicones aren't, but uh, nonetheless, a really pleasant sound. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at the Zonk setting and uh, as well as some bias settings and some cool stuff you can do to manipulate there. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the Zonk setting, which has a little bit of a harmonic thing going on with it. A um, little bit of a sputteriness thing, but still pretty full until you mess with the bias. We'll take a look at the bias setting after this. So here's the Zonk setting on germanium. This cleans up much the same way as the germanium did before, so we'll kind of gloss over that. Uh, I really want to look at the bias setting now. On top of there's some switches here on the side for a buffer in and a buffer out. Uh, makes it play well with other pedals in the chain. There's a tone circuit as well that kind of reduces the high end, brings out the top end, uh, and one that ups the mid-range character. We're going to leave those alone for this. Uh, be a little long if we went into those, but they are settings that exist on the side of the pedal, and they're worth delving into if you get it. All right, now we're going to dial the bias back down, and we're going to listen to that sputtery effect. It's what was used in the beginning of this demo, and here we go. 
You'll also see there's a little red light here that says when the bias is actually correct. Jesse's put that in to let you know what the optimal bias is for uh, old school kind of fuzz face setting. So this is with the bias rolled down. You get a gated kind of spitty thing. Uh, I love the sound. Um, it's pretty niche, but it, it works really well. <laughs> downside with a low bias pedal is that it doesn't roll off in the same way it'll cut the volume out uh, it's not the proper voltage going in so it doesn't clean up you can hear kind of dies off it's spitty so it's not as quite as pretty as a cleanup All right, that's been a quick and dirty look at the King Tone Fuzz. We looked at the germanium side, the silicone side, the zonk setting, playing with the bias. Uh, it's a pedal I really love. King Tone makes some fantastic stuff. Jesse's doing some great work over there. Uh, if you like what you heard, go pick one up. And uh, until next time, this has been Tone Wise Productions. Thanks for tuning in.